Before we get into the exercises for the trills, here are a few things you want to keep in mind. Number one, you want to start from a place without tension. If you're building up tension, find a place to release it within the trill or afterwards. That means that you don't want to suddenly just tighten up your hand and then go for the trill and try to squeeze it out because it's not going to last for very long and it's not going to be a very pretty trill. Number two, if you have any of those delicate long trills, I would suggest don't rely too much on rotation as it's going to be too heavy and clumsy because you need that fast finger action. Speaking of fast finger action, number three, if you are using a lot of that active finger work, make sure that you're very relaxed and loose in your wrist and your elbow and your arm because if this tenses up, then this whole thing's going to lock up too and then you're just going to be game over. Number four, if you have one of those super long trills that just seem to go on forever, I would suggest maybe grouping that trill into micro groups of maybe six or seven or eight or three or four, whatever works, because those micro groups are going to help your brain and your hands almost kind of reset or have little micro places of relaxation so that you're able to play for longer periods of time with a more even touch. Now let's get into those exercises.